forecast. Wrapping up a very nice day across the area. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. It's very nice, especially for January 2nd standards, barely clouded in the sky. Now this was at daybreak over the Pinnacle Skyline Drive area, showing we had a little bit of snow about 24 hours ago across the Blue Ridge Mountains. You can see that sugar coat there, especially across the western slopes of the Blue Ridge. We may see a similar site tomorrow night, by the way, across the Blue Ridge. Then we saw lots of sunshine, blue skies, barely a cloud in the sky. And with the clear skies and the dry air, expect a drop in temperature tonight. In that first forecast, it will be a seasonably cold overnight, dropping through the 40s, 30s, 20s, frosty 20s. With the near calm conditions, we will likely have a red sky sunrise tomorrow morning out ahead of our next week little weather system. As we go into tomorrow, your Wednesday will start off below freezing and end up closer to 50 degrees on towards 2 to 4 p.m., but not quite as sunny as it has been today. Your four o'clock numbers are in the 40s to barely 50 degrees, a couple degrees above average for this time of the year. And as you can imagine, without clouds, we have no precipitation on Storm Team 29's live Doppler radar. Lots of clear skies, high pressure up and down the mid-Atlantic region. But I am watching that, that weak weather disturbance over the Lone Star State of Texas. It will make the long road as it moves to the east. But most, if not all, of that moisture is going to stay especially off to our south. And we can track that on our rapid refresh high res weather tracker. Here's tomorrow morning at 7. It'll be dry going back to work and school to run those errands. A red sky sun rise and some clouds begin to fill in. We're dry. Here's 5 p.m. on Wednesday and then midnight pre dawn. There might be a sprinkle. There could be a mountain snow shower for the Blue Ridge that may coat the ground once again and then more in the way of sunshine returns on Thursday afternoon and it will, and it will stay dry. Watching this powerhouse of a storm now moving into California and the Pacific Northwest. This is our next significant weather player. So Friday is dry, but Saturday will not. Saturday is a first alert weather day to give you a heads up on a messy mix of a snow sleet and a cold rain east of the Blue Ridge, and it may stay a little longer with snow across the Blue Ridge and into the Shenandoah Valley. Snowfall projections are going to be on the low side across central Virginia. If we're able to keep it mostly snow, we may get a bit more than that. If it changes quicker over to sleet and rain, we'll cut down on those accumulations. But you'll notice east of the, of the Blue Ridge, there's a sharp cutoff between snow and no snow, but the Blue Ridge and the Shenandoah Valley, you're most favored to see some accumulation as we go into the day Saturday. So the bottom line, snow to sleep to rain Saturday across central Virginia could have at least some slushy accumulation and a mostly snowfall for the valley and the mountains could yield several inches of accumulation. Now this is only Tuesday and this will likely need to be adjusted at times, but that's how it looks as of right now for Saturday. Forecast for tonight, clear and frosty cold, lows below freezing. Your Wednesday outlook, clouds arrive, a light breeze with cool temperatures, upper 40s and low 50s. Here's your seven day forecast. Slight chance for a passing rain or snow shower tomorrow night in the 40s Thursday, in the 40s on Friday with partly sunny skies. And Saturday is a first alert weather day for a messy mix of snow, sleet and rain. Stay tuned for details on the amounts and the track and then drying out Sunday and perhaps some refreezing by next Monday morning.